Welcome to the video report of the Crystal Healing Let Go of All Negativity of August 22, 2017. This healing started out by 230 people registering and they could name also others like their uh, loved ones or the disliked ones to enter the circle. So the circle started with a total of more than 1700 names in the circle. And from there the healing started. So I had those 1700 names, I had more than 60 pets and, uh, and then I started collecting um, uh, crystals from my house, cards from my house to make this healing circle. And the circle is still behind the camera right now, it's not active anymore. I still I have to close it down, I already closed it down, but I have to clear it still. But I'm looking now at the crystals behind the camera and there are some are large pieces with points all coming out. But if you see, would look at the, <coughs> some of those crystals, from the outside they're rough, they're boring, they're not that, not that special. But if you cut those crystals open, they have these beautiful blue stones or purple stones or crystal points hanging in there. And that's the representative of your inside, of the yeah, who you are inside. We are all made of so many aspects and elements. And there are little diamonds in the rough that are shining inside of you that are waiting to start shining and come out when you let them. To become visible if you let them. So and that was what the healing was working on. It's been working on all those elements and aspects of you that are not in balance, that need to shine more and that are put out of balance by negative situations or negative people around you. And uh, to support that there have been some other spe special crystals like Lemurian crystals, my crystal healing set which is uh, a Veracruz amethyst crystals. Um, that's my Alentian healing set and they are very small but very 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 powerful they work like crazy and they were combined with several cards in the circle and this time the names have been put outside the circle with combined with the two um, uh, catalysators or from the day energizers of the healing and they were paste, put on the page uh, um, with all the names so it's the page with the heart on top of it, and underneath are all those 1700 names. And uh, that's how it started out. And then then I'm sitting there, I'm opening the crystal healing. I'm inviting the universe in to show me what I'm supposed to do this time. And each time that's different. Each time, each crystal healing is unique. There's not been one that's been the same. Even when sometimes I use the same crystals, each one is unique. So this time it started out with playing my ocean drum. You know, this uh, ocean sounds of this drum. It's a drum that's made by Marlene Boersma, it's a Dutch uh, artist. And this drum came to me a couple of months ago. And immediately the attention draw to it, I, I took it and um, the image came that we had to go down deep into the ocean. We had to dive deep into the waters and um, go down deep and get a special light on our heads that would shine in those dark deep parts of the oceans. Not the ones that uh, when you know at the near the beach you have this clear side you can see everything clear. That's your conscious part. That's what you know. Now when we're going deep down in the subconscious, uh, yeah, subconscious mind to all those dark corners where we've been hiding all those things and emotions and events and memories that are blocking us still, but it needs to come to the light, need to become visible in order to be able to transform them. So in this guided meditation, I've been guiding the people down into the water, deep into the ocean to first just shine light, to just make it visible, start noticing all those parts, all those deep magnificent aspects of you 
that are still there, even though they have no purpose anymore, but they block you anyway. So the first part of the healing was about making them visible. And once you knew that they were there, you were, all of us were allowed to come up again and go to a special private beach and lay them down there, bathing in, I believe at first in the moonlight and later in the sunlight. And then with the sound of my drum, I started transforming them. So with this special drum I made a couple of years ago, I made it three years ago. It's, it's my healing drum. And um, then we started transforming all those negative emotions in events that no longer serve us, no longer use us, or all those eh, pains that we don't want to see anymore. And the second part of what the healing also did was working on the events. Um, and we had this special solar eclipse uh, and all the planetary installations. They were very special, but they asked also a lot of us. They demanded a lot of us, a lot of emotional work, a lot of energy work. So for those of you that still have remains on the part, the crystal healing worked also on that one. So this meditation also took care of that. So there was the moon inside, there was the sun inside, the ocean, the universe, they all assisted us during this meditation. Now I recorded this meditation, but I'm not quite sure whether it will be the right uh, quality. And it, uh, of course it's been done in Dutch because the majority of the people came from the Netherlands or Belgium and they speak Dutch. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to make an English version of this. Uh, uh, There's something I've got to test out later. I just first have to check. I'm now, after this recording, allowed to check the quality of the recording at first and then I'm going to see if I can make it available for you so that you can reuse and reuse this meditation again and again to undergo the special effects of it. So that was the first part where the healing started to work on you as a person and all those ones that you, were, uh, you have uh, registered as well. And then the chain part of the healing starts working. So how does the crystal healing let go of negativity work? Why is it that you're allowed to subscribe others as well, even without them knowing? And how is it that it can work then later on as a chain? What does it do then with all those people? Well, I try to make that more clear with a schedule. And I'm take you through it so hopefully you get the better picture of it what it does first of all it starts with all those people who did the registration you know the R's the ones that registered <coughs> yeah, you were allowed those who registered receive the full healing and receive the full meditation no doubt about it so the healing works for you a hundred percent but for those that you also named the universe will start checking, okay, uh, and how much, uh, to what extent it can work for those persons. So you name several other persons, or maybe not, but I'll get to that point. And then they check it out, so they will check, okay, well, it can work for this one, and this one, and this one. But then it gets to this person, and it's someone who said, no, universe, I want to do everything on my own. I don't need any help from no one and anyone. Well, if you it comes across a person like that, the healing stops for that person. It doesn't work on it. Then maybe you have all the good intentions for that person, but the healing cannot work on that person. Or maybe it's someone who said, if, you know, if... Um, and like me, if Marlene sends me any help, then I'm not going to accept it from that person. So, it won't work for them. Or maybe this healing will be too intense for this person. So, then it will, um, instead of helping that person, it might help, you know, get to the other side. So, then the universe says, well, this healing is so intense, it, it's more than this person is ready for. So... The universe says itself, no, it's not a good idea to work on. And sometimes people are so negative and are so intense or carry with them such negative energies 
that it might affect the total chain of the circle, so they are ruled out as well. So the universe checks all those situations. It's not up to me, it's not up to you. The universe can do that all in matters of seconds. So why bother to, you know, uh, so you can always mention other people. So for those that work on, the healing works on, the chain continues to work on. Um, you know, the healing works on both ways. So if you mentioned this other person, then it works on both parts of the energies. It works also back so maybe you have affected this person in a negative way too. Maybe you made a stupid remark that was resentful or hurtful. Maybe you were uh, not thinking and you know you didn't call on a special day that on a date that was special for that person, and that, and that person felt hurt by you not taking action on the day. Whatever, there's all negative emotions. Someone who is put out of his powerful elements and put out of his true self, then it works on this this person, and it goes both ways. So if the healing stumbles upon a person that is not allowed to work on the person itself, it only works on the energies that goes on between the two of you. So it works on your part of the energy chain. How you look upon this person, how you feel about this person, uh, and about uh, protecting you more from the energies this person is sending back to you. How can you deal in a better way with this? Are there more effective ways to do this? Are there maybe other ways you can look at the situation so it affects you less and yet you still care about this person? But it's not about stop loving other people. It's by being able to love another person no matter what he does unconditionally and yet remaining your true self. This is what this healing is all about. So then it just all, only works on that part. But I also told you about the chain reaction so that it will also work on those people you've been um, <coughs> negatively affected by, by for instance news messages. So um, we the other week we had here um, in Europe the attack uh, in Barcelona, the terrorist attack in Barcelona. And this time it affected me much more than many other attacks in the recent period. Because my daughter, my eldest daughter, was about to fly to Barcelona and go there in that region on a holiday. So this time it also worked it on all those victims on those, uh, in Barcelona that had been there. The people that got injured, the people that managed to get away in time, uh, but also the dead ones. I mean, it sounds silly, but it's not so much on the people that died, but on the people surrounding those dead people. There's that we now are now grieving because they have lost a loved one. Um, naturally, those people don't know me in person. Eh? They, that's, I mean, it's a news message, so you don't know this, person, this one in person. So it can only work on my part of the energy chain, my part of viewing that situation, or my part of, eh, or your part of viewing that situation. And it doesn't work back then how you affected that person negatively. That part is left out. But from there on, you know, um, uh, I should have taken this one, by the way. Uh, so um, from there on, the circle can continue to work now. Work on the people that they know and that they have been negatively affected by, or that they negatively affected others. And it goes on and on and on, and then you get this chain reaction. So it might have started out with 230 names in the, hey, people that got registered, who mentioned over 1700 names for the second uh, line. But from there, it goes on to uh, quickly uh, uh, thousands and thousands, and then hundreds of thousands, and then millions of people. And in the end, that results in major numbers that the crystal healing works on. It works on people, it works on places and others that got negatively affected. So I said, I mentioned already Barcelona, so it worked on the Barcelona. Uh, people mentioned um, earthquakes, people mentioned other kind of... Uh, there's this big mud disaster in Africa somewhere. It would have worked on that place, but so many other places, but also on our pets. Because pets mirror our emotions, they are 
we're triggered by our emotions as well. So if you've been negatively affected by something, then you can bet that your pet is too. So it all works on that. And for August 22, the crystal healing August 22, I just did the numbers for the Dutch reading, a Dutch version. We've reached these numbers as totals. This crystal. August 22, 2017 works on 940, uh, 40, nee, 450,006,008, uh, well, I'm losing the numbers in English, you know, for over more than 950 million people, I'm just doing, so. I'm getting struggles with it, yeah. The, the healing has been taking a lot of my energy. Uh, more than 76 million places on Earth and more than 86 million pets worldwide. Um, in Dutch we use dots between the numbers, in English we do, you do other quotes, but these are the numbers of this crystal healing. Ain't that amazing? And it started out with only those 230 people who registered for this healing and who named those over 1500 other people. And as a result, we reached this healing was able to work on so many people worldwide. In combination with this special chain reaction. So if you're watching this video now as... Um, because I published it, as you know, and I said, this is what is healing do, and you like to be a part of the next time, then please subscribe for the uh, newsletter, and you will be informed immediately when there's another free crystal healing let go of negativity. Um, there is one, one every two, three months, there will be a free healing with this theme. Now, for in a short while, there will be a new paid crystal healing and that will only, I only ask um, about 17 euros so uh, and that's and then this healing works on this special team of that uh, in a, in a special team and each time it's different so if you were ready to grow and if you're ready to let me and my crystals and the universe take over uh, to help you get through these transitions more easily, then please join in in the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Each one that feels right for you, join in, join in, and help me spread this in, in tremendous, great healings because it's such a blessing to be able to do this work for each and one of you. So, God bless you all. Love to see you next time, and bye bye.